Hello, Tim here. Welcome to my channel. Have you ever wondered why uh, wood carving mallets are round, completely round like this one is here? And instead of a, a mallet like, like this or like a wooden mallet, round mallets actually work quite nicely for chisels and wood carving tools, of course. Now these small round mallets, maybe in some of the videos you've seen me use those, and these are, these are bronze. This one here uh, is a factory made one. A friend of mine made that one and this one here, which is uh, bronze. So I turned a pattern, he uh, cast it in bronze and then I finished it up with a handle. So these are custom made. And this one I bought from a woodcarver supply um, a number of years ago. This is zinc and this is quite heavy. It packs quite a wallop. And why would I, why would, why is that important? Well, if you're doing carving, uh, let me take a chisel here. This is a wood carving chisel. And if you're, if you're working on something, you're paying attention to what you're carving, you can turn this mallet any direction you're going to hit the tool as your tool moves. Whereas if you were using a, a, a mallet like this, it'll glance off and you, if you turn your, your tool, you have to pay attention to what you're hitting here. Now, if you're only chopping mortises, this is a morticing chisel, then uh, it, it's not gonna be moving around. You're gonna be pounding straight down. And for that, it would be useful to have a, a, a regular mallet. A rubber mallet, which uh, it, there's too much give in that. It's not. This is not a good tool for for using on a chisel. I do use this one here. It's got a rubber face on one side and a hard hard one on that side. But <clears throat> sometimes for um, convenience, like especially a steel cap chisel like this one here is. Um, that'll that'll work pretty good for. Uh, I mean, a regular hammer will do that too, but this one here is kind of convenient because it's, it's short and you can control it. And that's just, that's the only thing I use this for. And plus I can put it in my pocket pretty easy if I need to. This mallet, I just turned out of applewood and it's my preferred um, having a hardwood. This one here is um, box elder and it's pretty light. This is heavier and this is a lot heavier, and this is yeah, the most uh, heavy one I have. <clears throat> so why, why have that, uh, I mean, this kind of a mallet will mash up in time. So it'll, it, the fibers will get crushed. And the reason I, I make my own mallets, this one's already getting a few dents in it, is it protects your handle of your tool. And I have a number of chisels that I've, I've used for years, in the, and the, um, if the mallet's too hard, like this one here, is probably my most used one. It doesn't take much to move the tool, so the light taps, but it's heavy to be holding all day long. A wood mallet like this here, you have to really uh, swing harder, but it's better to wreck your mallet than to wreck tool handles. I've had to replace tool handles uh, over the years because they uh, they split or something like that. Now this, uh, this is your standard bench chisel and even when I'm chopping uh, using it for joinery I'll, I'll use a round mallet just as personal preference. So there's no, uh, this is a mortise chisel and the steel cap, anything about the steel cap will really chew up your, your wood mallet quick. And that's the, the one that's got a steel ferrule here, um, the, the cap chisels, that'll, that'll tear up your wood mallets. But I do use this, and that, that will work pretty good for uh, mortising. So that's it. That, uh, for, for mallets, why wood carvers use them, it's because you can control the direction and pay attention to what you're carving because your tools, you're moving it around as you're working. And, 
and the small ones, particularly this one here, I use a lot because you can tap it. Sometimes people use, you know, their palm or hand, but that's not good over many years. Well, that's all I got to say about why I prefer round mallets. This is the first video for the new year, and I wish you all a happy new year. And if you like it, please give it a thumbs up, and please subscribe. And we'll see you next time.